Hey YouTube, in this tutorial I'm going to show you guys how to fix your 808, your 808 sounds. Um, basically I made a video on this probably about a month ago or so. And supposedly I didn't go too deep into it or I didn't explain what I should have. So I'm going to redo it and hopefully you guys understand what I'm talking about this time. So basically I created a little loop. Oops. I created a little loop here. It's just going to keep pressing buttons, but I made a little loop here, and this is just a raw 808, no, nothing done to it, and you're going to notice once it changes notes, it's going to be really wavy, and I'm going to show you guys how to get rid of that, but first we're going to listen to what this sounds like first. As you can hear, it sounds really bad. So I'm going to show you a couple ways to get out of it. First way, which is the easy way, you just right click your 808. It's going to bring up this menu, which is your piano roll, rename, set icon, load sample. There's cut itself. So most likely by default, you should have it checked, but most time, or sometimes it's not checked. So you want to make sure you check it. All right. And then if you want to check, just make sure that it's checked and then go on and play it back. Alright, so that's simple way number one. Then I'll go into a more advanced way on to do it. So first I'm going to go back through and uncheck cut itself. So when I go back you're going to see it's unchecked. Alright? So we'll play it back so you can hear that it's unchecked. So one of the more advanced ways to do it, which is still pretty easy, is uh, you want to just left click this menu. My mouse just broke, so there we go. Alright, so you're going to see this little menu right here. So you have all kind of things in here that you can play with, but um, I'm not going to go deep into how to use these things today. So first things first, make sure you uncheck loop points. So make sure it's not highlighted. And then you want to come back down here. Um, and you have CRF down here. So if you move it up just a little bit to where the red comes in, you'll notice that it has changed. There's a couple things you can do in here. I guess this time in here I can show you some things. You have normalize, which would make it a little smaller. Another thing you can do in here, you have reverse. of little things in here. Um, you have trim, which uh, say, for instance, I'm going into, uh, let's see, if I open this up and I grab my little sample right here, where is it at? Alright, so I open this up and I'm going to try to zoom the video in here, but if you look, the note doesn't start for a little bit. So if I turn the metronome on, 
you can hear that it doesn't start right on point. So the way to change that is uh, you would just trim it a little bit and then now so that's how you do that but you wouldn't do that on uh, this 808 here but if you had another one like a Zaytoven let me see where's my kid at collapse Yeah, so you can trim a little bit. But, I don't know, that's just the basics on how to do it. It's really late, and I apologize I didn't get this video out earlier. I've just been working all day and doing homework. So, um, I'm about to go to bed. If you guys have any questions, go ahead and leave a comment. Um, also, if you're just now stumbling upon my channel, please go through and watch some more videos. Guarantee you they're a little better than this one. But, uh, you know, subscribe, rate, comment, and I'll talk to you. I'll see you guys Friday. Thanks. Bye.